So in this question, the company, they obtained a loan for $200,000. However, the lender said you have to have a compensating amount in your bank, right? So a compensating bank balance. And so first off, we need to understand really what this means. And when a lender says you have to keep a certain percentage of the loan in the bank account, well, as a borrower, I'm sitting there thinking, okay, that's money that I actually can't use, right? If it has to stay in the bank account, that sounds like a form of collateral. So even though the loan is for $200,000, the actual amount of money that I can use isn't $200,000. So the question is asking about the effective cost of the loan, right? And that is because we're paying 12% interest on the $200,000, but we actually don't have the $200,000 to use, right? So we'll go through four steps here and calculate basically the effective interest rate or the cost of the loan here. So in step one, let's go ahead and calculate that compensating bank balance. So the loan amount is $200,000 and they're saying you have to keep 20% of that in the bank account. Well, that results in basically a compensating balance of $40,000. So that means the company, they always have to have $40,000 in that account. So in step two, well, what's the actual amount of cash that they can then go use? Well, that's going to be the $200,000 loan minus that compensating balance of $40,000. That means the actual net proceeds received or the amount that can be used is $160,000. Now, in step three, we need to calculate the actual interest payment. So remember that interest rate of 12%, that is not on the net proceeds received, that's on the full amount of the loan, which is $200,000. So 200,000 times 12%, that means the interest payment is $24,000, right? So that is a little unfair, but let's keep on and see what the actual effective interest rate or cost of the loan is. So if our interest payment is $24,000 and we're actually only getting net proceeds of $160,000, that means the effective interest rate or the effective cost of the loan is actually 15% and not that 12%, right? So that is how a compensating bank balance can impact the ultimate effective cost of the loan. So be on the lookout for this on the exam, understand what a compensating bank balance is and understand why there is a difference between the stated rate and the ultimate effective cost of the loan. So again, the correct answer is 15%.